Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can send some message to a particular SQS queue using Python. Okay, so let's start with our code. The code I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section as well. So no need to worry about the code part. Just watch this video, try to understand where you have to play with different parameters and then you can adjust this particular code in your own requirement way and then work with it okay so first step what we are doing we are installing Boto 3 okay that is already done then here what we are doing we are importing some important stuff right like import json okay if json.dumps or json.loads often we use in python programming with aws right that's why i have imported that then go to 3 because we need to create the client for sqs queue so that we can work with python and sqs right so that's why we need go to 3 so we are importing that and date time and some more utility related to date time we are importing okay then this is one of the most important part where we are creating the client for sqs queue okay the common parameters how we pass photo 3 dot client then here we are passing for which aws service we want to create the client that is in this case it is sqs queue and here i am passing aws access key and secret key which is having full permission okay and the region name where i want to create the queue okay currently i am working with ohi region that's why i have basically given us is 2 if you are creating your queue in some other region please put that accordingly okay so it is done now let's first Try to understand how we can put some simple message in SQS queue. Okay, so for that, what I will do, I will just create a simple queue and queue name I can give hello world. Okay, I am keeping standard queue. And what are the properties of standard queue? It makes sure at least once delivery is happening and it will try to do best effort ordering. Okay, that is, ordering might be not exactly how the messages came and how the messages are getting consumed and it ensure at least once delivery that is it might happen that your same message is getting delivered more than one time if you are not comfortable with these two properties you can work with fifth okay that is it will make sure one message is getting published only one time and it is first based on first in first out or fifo policy okay so here i am i have given the name hello one and then here what i will do keep it all other things unchanged i will create the queue okay so if i go to queue currently no message available no message in flight okay i can click on that and here we are having some information okay so let's go back to our code so what we are doing here here we need to pass the queue url okay so we'll be taking the url of the queue and we'll paste that here okay then message body what message we want to publish that you can write here i am just writing a simple message hi okay you can put anything as per your choice okay then SQS send. What is this? This is nothing but our Boto3 client for SQS. There one method is available which is send message, which you can use to put some message in the SQS queue from Python. Okay. It requires at least two parameters. One is queue URL, that is in which queue we want to send the message, and what is the message we want to send that we can pass in message code. Okay. Just run this particular piece of code and see the match. See it is done successfully. And if I go to queue now, here it is zero. If I refresh this, here it will show one message is available. I can go to this particular queue and I can go to send and receive messages and I can click on hold for messages. Okay. And if I click here, I can see the message came. I can click on that. Here three major components are there. One is detail, which contains some fundamental information like size, ID, when it is sent, when it is first time received. Okay. What is the MD5 for the message body? All this information is available. How many times the message got received? Because in standard queue, it might happen that same message is getting delivered more than one time, right? So receive count for your case might be more than one. That is also possible, right? And then here body part is basically containing that actual message information. And apart from the body, another important part is attribute, okay? Which is having three important parts. One is name, one is type, one is value. What are those? I am going to discuss. No need to worry. As of now, I hope you have clearly understood how to simply publish or put or send some message in an SQS queue from Python, right? I hope it is clear. Now let's go to the second topic that is message attribute, okay? What are those? Message attributes are optional and separate from message body, right? We have seen that in this particular scenario, we have not used message attributes, right? And in this particular message, that's why it is having no value. So 
we can understand easily that it is optional parameter without this configuration also we can put some message in the queue that is perfectly fine and it is separate from the message body that is also correct right if i go to the actual message here in the body part the body content is there and in a separate place attribute is there okay so they are different okay but point to be noted you have to send the message attribute alongside with message body it is not like you will be sending message body one time and after some time you will be sending message attribute you have to send mess message attribute and message body at the same time if you want to push some message attribute or if not then you can simply ignore right now what is the importance regarding this particular message attribute one very important application i am going to cover in our upcoming videos but as of now you can simply understand like this way that is your consumer what consumer that is those applications which are consuming the messages from the sqs queue so those consumers can use the message attributes to handle a message in a particular way without having to process the message body first okay that is you may be putting some particular key value pair in the message attribute which the consumers can take and process the particular message in a particular way without going to the message body they no need to look into the message body just like for example i am so telling you that is maybe you want to consume only the messages from a particular author okay so what you can do in the attribute you can pass the author name and the author value and the author type data type basically author data type will be kind of a string who has published the message that will be a string type so based on author your consumer might be pulling the message it will be applying a filter condition or if else type of condition that if this is the author in the attribute then only consume the message else don't consume like that way you can play with it okay so your consumer can use message attribute to handle a message in a particular way without processing the message body first okay that's the simple idea okay and each message attribute has three important component one is name as you can see here it is kind of a key value pair dictionary right so it is having a name and then next parameter is type okay what is type type is nothing but data type whether that is string type number type or binary type okay and then another important part is value what value it contain in the message attribute right like key value pair okay so here you can see another important point the value part can be string value or binary value string value we use often binary value you can use if you want to send some compressed data encrypted data image data like this kind of stuff if you want to send to message attribute then you can use binary value but for our purpose mostly we use string value in the message attribute and this particular discussion whatever i am explaining will be more clear when i will show you the demo so bear with me for some time this theory might appear a little complicated but it will be very easy once i show you the demo okay so just remember the message value that is this particular column can be either string value or binary value like that in between this two and some more is also there but mostly we use string value or binary value as key and data type whatever this column is there this type column can be binary number or string okay now let's see one application okay so what we are doing here first we are sending we are putting the send url our sqs url i'll be taking that and i have put that here and then here's the message attribute this is nothing but one dictionary okay so what is author author is nothing but the name of the attribute okay so here you can put in this particular message attribute in the dictionary here whatever you will be putting that one will be coming in the name part okay so here we have put author so what is author author is suppose i want to put satyadru okay so author is satyadru and then here you can see data type data type is string because this particular value whatever we are trying to put that is string type and what we will put here as i have clearly written value can be string value or binary value mostly we are going to use so this is nothing but string right so we are going to write string value okay so i hope you understood what is the importance this author will be sitting in the name part in the value part the string value satyadru will be sitting that is here okay and data type will be string because what data we are passing that is a string data type satyadru this is a string data type right so that's why we are passing like this way okay so let's just run this one right and then here what i did i basically created a def function okay def send q here q url message body and message attribute we are passing and then same stuff we are calling what we use in this particular scenario only extra thing we are passing the message attribute 
and then we are returning the return statement. Okay, so we are running that, and this time we want to send message hello world, and then send queue. The queue URL is there. Message body hello world will be sitting, and message attribute that is this particular stuff we want to put. Okay, so let's run this one. So it is done. Okay, so if I go back to our queue, here now we will see the two messages are there. Perfect. Okay. I can click on send and receive messages. I will click on all for messages and see here this time this particular message came just now. Okay, latest message. So I can click on this one and see body part hello world is coming. That is perfectly fine. If I go to attribute as I have told you, that is whatever you will be putting here. Okay, that is that is nothing but coming in the name part of the attribute. Okay, so here this time attribute name is author. Okay, then. Here data type is string because this author is going to store a string value, right? So that's why it is saying data type as string, okay? And the last part is what is the value? The value part is sorted through, right? So it is coming here. Now how we are passing the value part? The value part we are passing using string value. Either you can pass string value, binary value, some more are there, but as of now let's focus on only this. Two. I hope you understood simply. Like just for a demo, if I am putting maybe. Uh, name instead of author and run this one and then run this one and then I can like hello world 2 okay just to show you the demo it is running successfully if I go back to our queue and click on poll for messages here we are getting one more message just now and if I go see hello world 2 is coming if I go to attribute section currently name is coming okay so what you are getting from this discussion that is whatever you will be putting here that will be coming as attribute name. Whatever you will be putting as data type, that will be coming in the type column. And whatever you will be putting, whatever you want to put in the value part, that you can put a string value and then pass the required value that it will be putting in the SPS. Okay. Right. So I hope you understood this and this function definition also I hope it is clear. Then let's try to understand case 2 which is little bit complicated. That is basically this time we want to send number data. So I have told you right that is data type can be binary number or string. So we have seen how we can pass string data in the attribute. Now let's see how we can pass number data. So all you can do you can pass data type as number and maybe I can put the name. Okay, that is basically this particular column. If you check one message, this particular column attribute name I can put maybe H. Okay, and then here string value only we have to pass as five. Okay, suppose you want to pass the age value as 5, then here in this particular value part, what are the options? The options are string value and binary value. Binary value is not required, right? So we don't have something like number value as of now. So what we can do, we can do string value and the SQS will automatically type plus that to number and we'll be putting that, okay? Maybe I can put the message as hello world 3 and I can run this one, right? And here it shown some error. So why it is not here? Let's see. Okay, so here actually we have to put the URL, SQS key URL. So I'll be taking that, and then here I'll be putting that. Okay, and I will run that, and it is done. I will go back and I will click on poll for messages, and then here I can basically take the latest one. Hello world three. See age type is number value is five coming. Right. So this is just you have to understand how to configure that's all okay so i hope you understood how to send number value instead of string value now sending multiple attribute you might need to send multiple attribute then what you can do you can put like this way simple right just dictionary key value pair one attribute i want to send name okay that is complete name i am passing that string and the string then i want to pass age that is another attribute okay that that attribute name is age the data type is number and now number value we cannot pass, so I am passing string value only. Maybe hello world 10 I can pass. And then here I can put the SQSQ URL here. Okay. And then run this one. And then here it is done successfully. If I go back and click on pull for messages, here you will see that this is the message hello world 10 body came. If I go to attributes, see currently two attributes are coming. Right? Like that you can add multiple attributes. Okay. And the last case is sending wrong data type. Okay, so let's see which one wrong data type. That is name. This particular attribute we are sending correctly. Data type is string, and we are sending string value only. But for age attribute, 
we are keeping data type as number but string data we are sending hello okay so anyway for sending number data i have told you that we should be using string value as key only that is perfectly fine but here you have to put such value which is at least can be type casted to number right but here in this case if you see data type is number and string value is hello hello you cannot simply type cast to number right so here it will be throwing error it cannot publish the message and if i run see an error occurred while calling send message operation the specific queue does not exist for this wsdl version okay so this kind of stuff is it is showing okay because i have not passed this in the url so i will paste that and run now see here cannot cast the value of message attribute h to a number okay so that means this particular h whatever we have put the value hello this sql is expecting should be number but it is not a number right that's why it is throwing error okay so i hope you understood with these discussions how to put some message or publish some message in sqs queue how to set the attributes and send along with it and then what is the importance of this i hope you are getting it without looking for the body any consumer can take the attribute and may filter on that maybe they want to consume only messages which are published by a certain name okay they are looking for certain value a particular value in the name attribute those messages only they want to consume okay that time this kind of for this kind of filtering purpose the attribute can be used okay right so i hope you understood this simple concept the code i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all the latest videos thank you